Hey there, and welcome to another video of Stable Diffusion Comfy UI. And this one, we're going to talk about in paint. Uh, in painting, let's say that it's not as easy as it looks like. Sometimes you see some videos and you see some magic. So basically, in painting is like selecting an area of your image and then trying to put something else. Okay, so you have a brush, a brush you mask something and then you put something else. So you see here in the Comfy UI examples and you see some impressive results, but believe me, it's not easy to get this, it's quite tricky. So let me give you a few guidelines of how to do this, but I just want to stress it's quite tricky to get good in painting, even using uh, also other tools that web-based tools or to do this also have to be honest, I think that Automatic 11.11 works much better. But in any case, let's work here in Comfy UI. The idea is pretty much the same. Also, focus, I think it works very much. Uh, it works much, much better. So let's go back also, as you saw, like to look at the model car. So here I have a few model cars and something that you have to be very careful. You need to use in painting models. Okay, it's not like you use the same model to generate that image or you can generate the image or you can take it from anywhere, it doesn't matter, but you need to use a specific model. So here you have a few references. So we have a Stable Diffusion 2, a Stable Diffusion 1.5 and a Stable Diffusion XL. This model doesn't work very well. It's tricky to get it working. And also, strangely, you don't find it here in the files. They don't have it. You need to build it. And it's a little bit tricky. Then this one, I took it from Runway and L. So let's say that they, they, they are a good provider. So it works. And then 2.1, you can get it from Stability AI. As usual, there are big models, okay? So you need to put it in the folder where you have all your models, okay? All your safe tensor checkpoints, all the stable diffusion, okay? This is not Lora, not nothing else. It's with, together with the other models. So download the model, put it, put it there and there, and then you start to work. So let's do something, okay? And to remind you also that we have uh, an amazing marketplace here. So here you can also look in Civit AI in Paint, and you will find a few models to do in Paint. As you see, you will find Workflow, but you have this one, then a specific one for RPG char characters. Here you have the SDXL, the one that I mentioned that you don't have it here but the, you can find it in Civit AI and many more stuff. So feel free to just go and hunt for one in painting, but honestly use the standard ones. And I have to say that this one, the Stable Diffusion 2, it works well. It works well even if you have images generated in Stable Diffusion 1.5 and Excel. It will give you acceptable results, but it's not black magic. The black magic, it is the user, the one that you need to know the keywords, where to paint, how to control the auctions, and, and so on. Important as well, try to use uh, the, the dimensions of your image and latent space to be compatible with the models. Okay, same as we have done so far. So at this point, let me launch here. And I have here, let's see some models. And let's see that, let me do, and uh, let's work with the tradition we have here now, this one we were working. And I want to use the in paint here. So let me do, I put it here. I have the workflow. I will share it in the description. So basically here we need to look and I think it's this one. No, that is the one with the good hand, this one. So we generated in a previous video, I don't recall which one was, we generated this image and then so on, and scaling and so on, but we have here the hand that is not in a nice position. So let's see if by doing, instead of changing the global, the whole composition, let's see if we can just brush this area and then try to fix that hand. So important, we have our workflow, very standard. It's the standard one. The only thing here is that we have now latent image. In the latent image, we add the masking and this new. Here I put some comments that to start to do the masking, here you have it. You right click in the image. So you load your image, right click and see here that you have 
mask editor now in the mask editor you can brush the region that you want to modify so let's say that i want to modify here you mask everything so this is tricky believe me since it's easy but it's quite tricky to select the region and how to do the right masking and sometimes you can enter in the face and that will give you problems so you're happy with that save and look at that you have the mask in there and now whatever you do is going just to work here probably it's going to change a little bit your overall style but you're focusing those region in this region so important as i mentioned use an in painting model so here i already put it and i will use the two that i say that is the most stable one okay so try to hunt for that one that one is my personal experience is the most stable one. Then you have positive and negative prompts. So my advice here is try to use, if you generated the image, text to the image, use exactly the same keywords. Okay, it's use the same keywords and that will work. If you have the image from somewhere else, try to pick up the the, the most relevant uh the, the 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 most relevant characteristic not uh, features that you find in your in your image also if you want to add something so you can remove you can add or you can change so you need to add that keyword later we're going to see that but in this case i'm going to focus in the hand i know that this was the the prompts that I use to generate that. Then when it comes to the sample, it's pretty much the same as generating the image. So use the standard one and that's all. Pretty much at this point is just good luck. Okay, so let me click here and let's see what happens. So reading the new model, then it is putting everything together. And now let's see what we have. And there you go. So see that we have this, our in painting there and it tried to do something. As I say, this is not black magic. It's tricky. It takes a lot of trial. So at this point, let's say that, let me put here incremental. Let me go like this. You can play with all their options. So let me, before doing this exercise, actually, uh, to remind you also here that you have the, the noise. It's the same effect as we, as we talked previously. So you put one, it is a lot of fantasy. So let me go here, fix. So it, it will try to add a lot of new information. Instead, if you want to keep your original composition, so see that kind of here is trying to add the complete hand. If you want to keep your original composition, just lower. So look at that. If I put 0 0.2, this will be a quite nice result or interesting result because what we're going to see, it is the mask. So you have, you can get an idea that you have this mask and then it kind of, it's going to evolve though so you get it here and 0 0.5 you're still going to have the mask and this is for any image so here you need to use a little bit you can see some residual of the mask so usually here anything above 0 0.7 it is okay so let me use here i like to use always 0 0.85 let me create there and one will be the most creative one it will be up to you as you see it you need to, to, to calibrate, you know, to find your best parameters. I mentioned here that I would like to go here, incremental. Let me set it auto queue, generate. And at this point, just let it run. And running, actually this seems nice. The hand is behind the hair. Then hidden, let's see. This one seems also nice. Let's see behind the hair, but I want something probably. Let's see until I get something in front of the hair. So I see that now is something in front, not very nice behind the hair. So this is the idea in painting. You, as you see, it's not, it's not easy to control. And this one I like. So I actually see that it put there like a kind of a watch. So let me stop there. Let me see. This one also seems a little bit nicer, but I think We'll go here, was to there. Now, this one I'm doing here, by the way, is not cherry pick it like the previous one here, and kind of doing live. I'm preparing this, so I have no idea which one will be the right one. Otherwise, I would put it. So, let's see which one was. There was a nice one previously. This one. Okay, we have it there. And it's a nice composition, very nice. So we have the number there. So let's see now what happens if I put one. Let's see. But this is quite cool there. 
and not much, pretty much the same. Okay, so at this point, I'm happy with this image, and this is in painting. We have now uh, what we fix our problem with the hand, and what we can do now is move and do the ox scaling if you want to get something much better. So let me save this image. Okay, I save it and let me do something else just to show you also that here I was trying to fix that. I didn't put any information there. So now let's do something else. Let me click that and to show you to add new information. So let me go back. Mask editor and clear the mask. And let me do something that now let me brush here. The face. Maybe you get the idea what I want to do is like chance and probably look at that. I also cover the nose so that might give me some problems. So brushing also is important, the technique, how you brush. So I will brush there. I will keep the same style. And now let me put here and I will say sunglasses. Okay, sunglasses and very important. Also, you can add here more weight to keywords. So you said I like to put a lot of weight and let's see what happens. So now I'm adding information and there you go. The hand, okay, remember I, I didn't say if I work in the original ones, but there you go. You have some glasses there. See that I mentioned that the problem with the nose was changing. So let's see if we can go back here and let's change that masking um, ta, 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 ta. enter here clear so let's be more more careful there so we go here here okay save and let's do the same task uh, and let me launch Q there you see, no, there is no black magic. It's tricky to control. So maybe have a better outcome. So now let's go and let's change this one. Another number there. And let's see what happens. So every single now number there that you change in the city is a different generation. And at this point, we can go. Let's go a little bit here. Let's go bananas. And let's put it there random. And let's see what happens. So one of these will be a nice one, but you see that changing your, your composition, it's quite cool. Now that one is nice. Well, this one, okay, not nice. And this is it. Okay. So this one's kind of cool. Yeah. Change the glasses, but it's not properly sunglasses that I wanted. There you go. Keep doing and let's see a little bit. This is okay. Let me stop a little bit because I can see a little bit also for, from that generation that also all this style is having an influence there in the last. So if I erase all the original prompt, let's see what happens. So there you go. So see that that was having an influence. So not nice. Okay. Not nice. Okay. That's crazy. So I'll put it. Okay, cool. So there you have those. So as you see as well, it's important their combination. So probably you can add the keyword anime one gear. So probably that will make it. I will force it to respect more. There you see. So this is cool kind of a pilot sunglasses. And there you go. And this is okay. And see that. A little bit in painting, we managed to change something. So this is this is the idea of in painting. I'm not going too much into detail because it's very tricky. Uh, very important for you is that this you need to use the library. So these different libraries you're going to have, you know, kind of different outcomes. Personal experience use the two version two. The XL give me a lot of problems. So now that we do this, the next step will be and just to show you and just to link with previous videos will be the uh, the workflow for ox scaling. So let's see that for instance. Let me see where do I have the, that workflow here. I want the standard this one high res. So let's use this one. Okay. 
and recall that I saved the image here. So here we have this one, the nice hand there. Let me put it here. And let me first see you know, this one to, to bypass all that stuff and let's generate this image. So basically take this image, increase by using just the pixel space like scaling. And this is quite cool actually. Look at very nice hand when we fix that problem there. And now let's use this one here. Let's enable here. So always. So remember here what we're doing, we're going for pixel space now to latent in space. And let me increase a little bit that resolution to see if I can get better results. So increase latent in space, use all these options. We're using here, remember we're using here also another model. So here we have it and let's click. Uh, I want to mention something about also in painting that we have the options and so on. So remember in painting so far, having been being able to use it with the turbo models and for what I read, it's not compatible. However, you can use in painting with Lora models. Okay. So if you go to the website, you will see that there is the auction and you can do Lora models and you can see that it can be very fast. Now that one can give, you can get to better solution much, much faster and see that very nice result we have here. Look at that very stylish hand. Probably this is getting a little bit messed around there, but very nice. Very, very nice result with some painting. So now let's go and this one was, let's use the actual uh, key, uh, keywords that I use for that one now, because that I didn't like that one. Bam, 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 bam. And let me, this one, so it will be this. Let me put this here and let's see what happens. So I'm taking out uh, this, there is this Disney style. Let's see what happens if I put now the standard style as the one I use my standard, the same prompt as the one used to generate that image. So it's very, so I'm happy with this. Actually super, super happy. This is an incredible result. Look at here, how the hands and very stylish, fantastic, fantastic. And then probably you can go for, 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 for that. Let me see. I think I have it here. It is. And put it here. By the way, put it here. I, wa I forgot this here. I always like to put text, watermark. Also, when you use this Disney Pixar style, also put signature. Sometimes we would put some signature somewhere. And this is. This is it. So let's see what happens now with this new style. So it should be, uh, I, I honestly, I prefer this one so far. I really, really like this one. So I need to save this one. Okay. There you go. We have this one also very nice. Now it is incredible now that this hand and the lens is the word there, but this hand, how we fix this is fantastic. It's really, really incredible. So, okay. So this is a nice example. Feel free to play with that. And let me show you an, another one. Also here, we will show you to add, to remove, but let me go back and let me do something. Let's see what I want to do. So let me use this Delora. Okay. And I want to do a very specific one. So I like to work a lot with, uh, with nature. So let's put this one and let's see what we get here. So maybe it would be a good idea talking about the Lora that you can add a Lora with also with the nature now to, to make it nicer, the nature and so on, but uh, doesn't matter. Then you can play with that. So this is cool. I like this image. Okay. So you get an idea that I will get here and I will add something somewhere. So now that I have this, I can move to in painting. I have my in painting. Let me choose this one. And remember that what you need to do now, it is bam, 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 put it here. And then you need to mask, choose 
your right model uh, as they say this one gives problems so stay away from that one I still honestly I don't know why they haven't done so much quality control on that model but in any case the model D2 it works very well and right click here and then you can paint so let me do bam 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 here uh, here all this really put in paint there so I will at this point I would like to add something there so let's see if it works uh -huh. this is live actually I didn't practice this so just came to my mind while working uh it's not it's not perfect, so you have to be very careful that, that you need to to do a good work when you are in painting there. So let me make it larger. Um, bum, bum, bum. Mm, still okay. Yeah, probably that. Ah. Mm. Okay, much better. So we have it there and basically remember what you need to do is add, in this case, keep the composition, but if you don't have it, let's say that you know that, and let's say that, let me destroy again this Pikachu. I have destroyed him in many ways. So let me put Pikachu there and let's see if it works. Uh, Prone of uh, requiring a K image. Okay, so I uh, have much. I think it was this. Yeah, I, I clicked the wrong. So I have everything. Bam, 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 bam. And now basically take this image, this impated region, and then try to put this border. Add, try to add weight. I have my visor. You can add weight to make it you know, work even better. And there you go. You have Pikachu, very nice. I actually put two of them, two Pokemon. But this is nice what I was looking for. And let's see now, for instance, let me destroy this guy also, a SpongeBob. Let's see if it exists inside the model. Quite sure it has to exist. So basically adding now, we remove, we modify, and now we add new information. So you can impain here and say, okay, remove that tree or whatever. Okay, mm, not nice. So no, I think at this point I'm having problems. Sometimes this happens. Let's see, Q again. Bam, 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 bam. And sometimes, yeah, you need to restart. It happens. Okay, so now it didn't work. So at this point, yeah, I have that problem. Let's go Pikachu. Let me change the library. Let's see if a different in painting will give me another result. But now these are the things that I intended that sometimes yeah, you can find these problems that it doesn't do anything. So the first try will work, then we'll have problems. So in the first example, it did work, and this one is not working. Uh, as I say, this worked much better in automatic 11.11, but yeah, it's tricky and from time to time. So you can have this behavior difficult to control. So see that. Okay, so yeah, there put something, I don't know what it was. Okay, so I added Pikachu and yeah, I tried to put something there. And to mention what is the problem that you get if you try to use a, a full library, original library. So let me go for the base one. And what it will happen that the full library, it will fill this mask region. So that is the difference. When you have the paint, in paint model, that is a very specialized that it will work here and it won't try to, to fill the whole region. This one, when you do it, it will the whole region will, will fill with that keyword that you put there. So let's see what happens here. But likely all this stuff will be filled full with something there. So it's taking a little bit long, but not expecting. So maybe it will be a crazy result. Okay, nothing is... Okay, well, didn't put anything 
relevant or what it put, but you get the idea that it tried to fill the whole stuff there. So let's say that I want a fox there. Let me go Q and let's see what happens. Okay, well, I need to randomize better. It will be something similar there, but actually it's trying to get the compost, the standard composition feeling there. But... And it's kind of a slow, you see also the difference, much, much slower. Even the models are, are as big as this one in dimensions, like six gig. This one tends to be, and there you go. So see that I didn't do much. Now, let me do da, 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 randomize. Okay, let's see what happens with that number. But also at this point, I think it might be better to restart. I think sometimes happen this problem to generate and I know what is the issue. So that is one of the issues also in Comfy UI. So we were lucky the previous one, the gear, it did work in this one, it's not working. Or it's not giving. Nice results. Okay, there you go. So see that, yeah, in this one, it's trying to fill everything. So yeah, this is in painting, I think, at this point. It's, I don't want to go into too much details there, but important, remember, just read your model cards and download the, the specific in painting models. And also, as you saw in Steve AI, you have the marketplace and you can choose you know, the painting models there are many of them also there are a few workflows for you have for comfy ui so if you want something more sophisticated than, than the one that i'm using usually i use very simple stuff for me it's more than enough but see here that you have something way much sophisticated likely use also different uh models that you will need to download and so so with this and done with this video and actually we cover I think the most important features in Comfy UI. There is more there, but I don't want to cover. You can do it. This is very interesting. I'm working on that, creating video, but you have the most important things. Now, text to image, image to image, and painting, Loda. Believe it or not, we talk a little bit of this, but it's not that important. We do uh, upscale with the Ox scaling. I didn't touch control net because honestly, that is much better using automatic 1111, but feel free to explore that. We, we look at the SDXL, the standard and refiner workflow, LCN and the turbo, which is mind blowing. This is also mind blowing 3D also. I don't show anything because I'm working on that, but yeah, you can do some 3D stuff, reconstruction, very cool. Okay. So that's all. Thank you for your attention and well, we still have one more video, so see you in the next video, but enjoy and have a nice day. Bye.